Look, honestly, I'm going to give you a show. Look at this. Honestly, there's nothing better, mate. There's nothing better. Not even seven o'clock in the morning. Flat, calm. Nice, gentle breeze. Low tide, gonna be fishing the tide on the way up. Fantastic. Just gorgeous, man. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, let's open her up, shall we? Guys, here we are. I'm fishing worm on the middle just for a bit of anything, you know. Fishing panel rig with squid on the right rod, and I'm fishing bluey on the left rod. I've had bites on the right rod, but they're not hooking up yet, so I take it that's whiting or something just snatching out of crabs. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Um, just had a couple of taps on the left rod. Soon know if a ray or a dogfish got hold of it though, won't you? Um, yes, yeah, so I've had a little whiting, uh, nothing special, but look at that. Absolutely beautiful, nice and calm. Bloody lovely. Very, very peaceful, very peaceful. It's been a long time coming, I tell you, I've been gagging to get out, absolutely gagging to get out. So yeah, hopefully the rays, uh, Raymundos and um, the other fish will turn up and we'll have a good day. It's only 20 past eight, so see what happens. I'll let you know when we get our next fish. Job, lovely old job. Give me a look, give me a show. Careful with dogfish because they're uh, the skin is like sandpaper, as many of you know. of a wagon. I'm going to move spot guys, I, um, I'm not quite happy where I am, I'm not far enough on the ledge, I'm just going to go a bit further up to slightly deep your water, and then I'll be happy, but we're catching dogfish, two whiting, so happy days, we'll get back and move new spot. Oi oi, another dog, it's a bit of a better one, plenty of these about. change spot. Fish on guys, fish on. Another white. Sharp old teeth. Loads of them about. Bloody loads of them about. But yeah. New spot, a lot deeper water. We're on the um, flat water at the minute, so it's now going to turn. Well, in the next hour anyway. So it'll be much better then. But so yeah, happy days. While we're waiting for the tide to swing around, and the rods are a pain in the ass. Got bacon ronies on. This is what it's all about, isn't it? In my opinion, there's nothing better really. Out on the boat, bacon sarnies, nice fresh bread. One trusty ingredient that you can't go anywhere without, mayonnaise. Life. I love it. Yeah, we're just swinging now. Just gonna wait until we get swing over towards the shore, and then I'll start fishing again. In the meantime, breakfast. I'm out again tomorrow. My brother's gonna come out tomorrow. He can't get out till about nine o'clock, so I'll come out here early doors, do a bit of fishing. And then I'll just steam down to the beach and pick him up off the beach. And then, um, yeah, we'll come out here and start fishing again. Right, I'm going to eat my breakfast. We'll get back to you when we start fishing. Nice fish on here, guys. Take and drag. Oh, I've got a 
very nice fish on. Oh, we've got a fish on the left hand rod as well, look. Don't know what we've got on here, guys, but that's, that's big. Guys, a big skate, I think. Yeah, that's a nice skate, guys. Oh, yeah. Jesus. A nice skate. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Let me just check that left hand rod. I think it's still going. Look at that guys, look at that, lovely. Warm back Ray. Thank you guys. Just get her unhooked and I'll give you a show, hang on. Well she wanted that one, blimey. Bigger, a lot smaller than I thought, but lovely fish all the same. That's what we're here for. Hopefully, now the tides change, we'll catch a few more of them. Happy days! Woohoo! Ray Bundo! fish on guys yep fish on oh it's like swimming towards me oh yeah still on there I think it's a dogfish I think I think it's a dogfish Boy. A whole bloody squid. Greedy little bastards, isn't they? Greedy little sods. Happy days, another fish. Fish on, guys. Have a bloody voiting probably. Yep. Another voiting taking a big chunk of bluey. this time of year unfortunately. Fish on. 
far superior to that, I tell you. It's a whooping fest. Bloody things. Another whooping. Nice fish on here, guys. Just ripped the drag off. Meant to run over double. Jesus, that's a savage boy. Absolute savage. Let me sort this mess out, I'll get back there. Check it out guys. That's a stunning ray, that is. Whoa! Gotta be careful. Bloody choppy out here. Yeah, that's a perler. Nice one. I'm happy with that anyway. Happy days, get a release shot. Old ray on again, guys. Well, well, it's that a big ray. I don't know, do I? I bent the rod over double. It's getting quite rough out here now. Gosh, pull them back fairly. Make a drag. Always a sign of a good fish. retreat back into the river now and um, I'll just show you something while I'm here I made a whelk pot I have an add blue bowl I'm gonna drop that before I leave and I'm gonna pick it back up tomorrow I've got some bait for it and um, I've done all the necessary checks and stuff and registered online so I've made a few of them up I'm just gonna drop this one just leave it overnight to so out again tomorrow pick it up and just see what happens. Oh, 
Oh, I'm just going to drop my welt pot that I made. Um, leave it here overnight, pick up with my brother tomorrow, see what happens. in it tomorrow, we'll see. Well sports fans. Bloody good out in the sea to be fair. Had three rays, seven doggies in the end, and a few white. Um, the missus wants to try white. She's quite interested in it. She wants to know what it tastes like. So I caught a nice size one, a 37 centimetre, and the um, what? Yeah, the white is only 27. So it's well over, and um, I'm going to take it home and do a little catch, clean, and cook, and see what she think. Um, but yeah, the sea was kicking up a bit more than what I like, as in comfortable wise. Um, so yeah, I've come back down a river now. I thought I'd do a couple of hours for the bass, as I've got quite a few worms left. Me and my brother will obviously use some up tomorrow, but I've still got half a pack on my first pack left, so. Yeah, so I'm just in the river now, fishing for bass, getting some decent markers on the sounder, fish finder. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. When we get one, we'll let you know. Check this out, guys. I've just opened the uh, Boynton's belly up. It's been feeding on little shrimps. Hmm? You don't see many of them about. Well, we don't, anyway. So yeah, it's uh, very empty now, but yeah, that's what it's been feeding on. We'll get him filled up and gutted, ready to take home, and uh, yeah, get my little taste later. Nice bass, guys. Nice bass. First bass, good size. Hopefully we'll get our keeper, that'd be nice, but good fish all the same. On the worm, on the ragworm. Let's get a back, see if we can get some more. Happy day. Anguilla, anguilla. That is not what we wanted. There we go, that's what they do. Just knot everything up, make everything a nightmare. So, time to get out of this mess. Happy days. Right guys, that's uh, basically me done. I've got two rods out. Uh, just while I finish this, uh, fill up this whiting up. Um, as we all know, as fishermen, whiting are basically trash fish. A lot of people love them. A lot of people don't. Um, probably more people don't than do. <laughs> I can be a nuisance sometimes, but I think they taste quite nice. And um, well, I think they're very nice actually. My missus wants to try it. So if I told her, told her I yeah, so I told her if I catch a decent one, we'll bring it home and we'll cook it. And the white is, as I keep forgetting, 27 centimeters, and this one is. 34, so well in, well in. I keep an eye on these rods because there's always a chance of a last ditch bass. I'll tell you what, a minute ago, I, um, I lost the bass, blimey. That hooked me over, I didn't have a drag set and I snapped my hook link. A 20 pound hook link and I snapped it. 
fair and square right in the middle. So how the hell that happened? It's obviously a decent fish. All right, let's get the fillet in this. Uh... Right, guys. So first of all, I've gutted it nice and clean. So I'll just come down here. Cut across. Just outline it. Make sure you follow that backbone. Make sure you've got a nice sharp knife. This knife is nice and sharp. Make sure you follow that backbone all the way down. You don't get a huge amount of meat for whiting, do you? But it's decent enough. And then follow that backbone all the way along. You can hear your knife grating against the bones. Alright, just work your way along. I won't say I'm the best at it in the world, but I've done it a few times. <coughs> work your way along. That bones. Not a bad job, said I ain't done it in a long while. Oh guys, don't get huge yield off of whiting, but decent fillet. See all the bones here, nice and close. A little bit of flesh left there. Like I say, I'm no expert, but what you can do as well is you can just give it a fillet right down the edge. I try and go across the back way to get as much meat as you can. Said I wouldn't usually take them home, but the missus wants to try it. I'm going to cook it in soy sauce and ginger. I'm going to go Oriental style. <coughs> see what that. See what that's like. Could do a sharp knife, really. Follow along that bone. Backbone, keep going, keep going. Come to the end of it. Across the rib cage. <coughs> there we are guys. Got a decent little fillets here. I'll leave the skin on, I like cooking them with the skin on. You know. They're not, you don't get a huge amount of flesh out of them, but it's enough for a taste test. So I'll see you back in the kitchen when we give them a bash. Well, guys, that was a super good session. Really good session. Done now. Uh, free raise, free decent raise. Um, one bass, seven dogfish, six whiting. Look, I know we don't keep whiting, but the missus, that's all new to her, and she wants to try it, so I'm going to fry up for when I get home to show what she's not missing out on. Um, yeah, great day, absolutely great day. It rained, bloody rain, won't forecast, but it did rain. 